Hello, dear friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. Yeah, I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel. If you are yet to subscribe, please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones, so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. President Muhammad Buhari has been accused of techn technically handing over Nigeria to terrorists. Sociopolitical activist Deji Adenyaju made the remark while claiming that Buhari hates Odudua and the indigenous people of Biafra agitators. Reacting to a reported terrorist attack on a military base in Zamfara State. Adenyaju said the president was only interested in fighting his critics and not in security. In a series of tweets, the right activists accused Buhari of pampering terrorists. According to Adenyaju, Buhari has technically handed over Nigeria to terrorist groups. The takeover of a military base yesterday in Zamfara State confirms this. He is not interested in fighting insecurity, but he is interested in fighting his critics and the opposition. He hates IPOP and the Odudua agitators so much, but he pampers terrorists in the northern part of the country. You will also see, so you will all see how Buhari will deploy 30,000 soldiers and police in an attempt to rig the Anambra elections, but he ignores all the security challenges in the north. These bandits have brought down a military jet and killed many soldiers and citizens, but he is not concerned. If it were to be IPOP or the Eastern Security Network, he would deploy soldiers in large numbers in battalions to the southeast, and he would order a shooter site in the southeast, but cannot order the same in the north. It is very evident that he has technically handed over Nigeria to the terrorists, Deji Adenyaju concluded. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular opinion of um, Deji Adenyaju? Do you agree that he, Buhari has handed over Nigeria to terrorists? Well, it is a little bit um, difficult to uh, conclude, you know, but to a very large extent, with the happenings in the country, you cannot but ag admit or agree to what Deji Adenyaju has said. Considering the level of um, security challenges that the country is facing, you cannot but, you know, want to agree with him you know with the level of insecurity in the country with the level of uh, banditry in the country that has been experienced with the way the, the bandits are you know operating in another part of the country you cannot but agree that Nigeria has been handed over to terrorists and to what end just because Nigeria has a president that has refused to do the needful just because the president has refused to fight the bandits in the north just because they are Fulanis or just because they are operating in the north. We've seen and heard governors come out to express their regrets on giving amnesty to these bandits or to these terrorists rather. These terrorists, in a bid to actually allow them to operate, 
the Nigerian government refused or stopped calling them bandits and gave them a, calling them terrorists, but gave them a new name, bandits. When Nigerians were agitating that these guys should be proscribed, the Fulani headsmen, the bandits, and all whatever should be proscribed as terrorist groups, the Nigerian government up until today, led by President Muhammad Buhari, has refused to, to uh, proscribe them as terrorist organizations. But he was quick to proscribe IPO that were only fighting for the interest of the Igbos who were marginalized by this same government of President Muhammad Buhari. It is really, really sad and unfortunate, if you ask me, but to a very large extent. Large part of the northern part of the country might just, you know, have been captured by these terrorists, who majority of them, according to reports, if it were to be true, you know, came from other neighboring countries into Nigeria and have refused to go back. They have held sway in another part of the country. They have terrorized people. They have continued to terrorize. They have continued to, you know, kill, maim, destroy. They have continued to kidnap people for ransom. They attacked several, um, you know, military institutions in the northern part of the country taken over uh, military bases in the northern part of the country, uh, you know, seized weapons, brought down military jets, and so many uh, things that these guys have done that could have warranted them to have been proscribed terrorist organizations and also flushed out of that part of the country. But we have a president who is sympathetic with these terrorists, so they cannot be attacked, they cannot be um, dealt with. They cannot be uh, flushed out because they are of the Fulani origin or because they are acting on instructions. Probably, we never can tell. It is really, really unfortunate. It is really, really sad. It is really, really sympathetic. The lives that have been lost in the northern part of the country has just, you know, has just skyrocketed. The number of children, schools, you know, kidnapping communities. It is just the numbers are just there, are just rising as the day goes by. Well, guys, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And they want to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.